Bob Sonia from Brian Insurance, and uh, have our insurance tip of the week. Good morning. How's it going? It's good. I think I saw you this morning when you left the house. I didn't yes. see you when you got home when you got home last night. No, I walked in the house last night. The only thing you said was, "What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, and then you went straight to bed. I was probably talking in my sleep because yes. I don't remember that. Well, I had a question after yes. we um, talked about roofers last week, mm -hmm. and I talked about if you were uh, going to have a, a company fix or replace your roof at your home or your business that you should get a certificate of insurance. And I had somebody ask me during the week, what is a certificate of insurance? So a I thought certificate I, yeah. of insurance? Yeah, so I thought I'd talk about that because there's a lot of words that we use. I'm sure it's the same in radio too that we use that we just assume people know what mm -hmm. we mean and that's not always true. A certificate of insurance is a document. It's actually a form that Accord, who does insurance forms, puts out that is a snapshot of the coverage that the person or business has at that time. So it'll have mm -hmm. their name and name and address, the person that has insurance will have their name and address, the agency's name and address, and then it lists the different policies that they have, mm -hmm. the limits that they have, the dates of effective expiration. And so those are important on two sides. If you as an individual or as a business hire someone to uh, do work for you, or right. especially if you hire somebody to contract under you, so if you're a general contractor mm -hmm. and you hire roofers, plumbers, whatever, uh, or you know, so it, or if you have a contractual requirement between, you need to get that certificate of insurance prior to that person or business doing the work to prove that they have coverage. Exactly. It's very important. Um, and so that's one side of it, if you're having them do work for you or if you're hiring them as a subcontractor under you. If you're a business that does work for, for businesses or people, uh, you're gonna need those certificates of insurance a lot of times before you can do any work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, they're supposed to be simple, but nothing in the world is simple. Uh, in fact, the Texas Department of Insurance a few years ago uh, passed a, there was a bill that was passed that was supposed to simplify and what they would allow agents to put on certificates and what they wouldn't, and it made it more complicated. But um, the important thing is that your agent knows and has a way to get those certificates out quickly because most of the time you won't be able to work or even uh, get paid for a job if you don't have that proof of insurance on file. Because I don't know anything about insurance other than the fact is if we pay it, that's all I know. Um, is that kind of the same deal as like when a police officer walks up and says, I need to see some proof of insurance? Theoretically it is. Um, mm -hmm. The difference is that you're required by law to have auto liability coverage mm -hmm. before you can drive or operate a vehicle. So when the police officer is asking you, it's actually something you're legally required mm -hmm. to have that coverage and that card or whatever you have in your vehicle, or in Rick's case that he doesn't have in his vehicle because he always forgets to put it in there. But, <laughs> but what that, that auto ID card is what they're right. called. That's what you show the police officer to, sh to prove that you've met your legal financial responsibility of carrying insurance. Where a certificate, it's typically not a law, it's typically, sometimes it may be. There's mm -hmm. some cases where a particular license that somebody has that they have to have a certificate to prove they have insurance, but it's really more of information it doesn't grant any, um, doesn't really grant any coverages or any, you know, anything other than it's just a piece of information. But it's, while I say it doesn't grant any coverages, it doesn't prove anything in the way it does and the way it doesn't. But it, the state of Texas, for example, is very strict about the way agents issue certificates. And even if, you know, uh, if an agent makes a mistake, gets a certificate wrong, or even worse, which we have seen, right. uh, falsifies it to make it look like somebody has coverage if they don't, they can definitely be fined by the Texas Department of Insurance and wow. worse than that. So it's real so important. These certificates are very, very important. Yeah. And if you've got a big job coming up or you're having to prove that you have insurance when you start a job, so all they do is contact you guys. Right. But do they have to have insurance with you all to do this, or can they, they just, if they own a business, call you to say, I need more? No, for uh, the agent that writes the business is going to be the one that issues the certificate okay. of insurance. And what we do, we have we have one employee that that's basically what they do all day. We try to get them out very quickly because we know how important they are. But we also have a portal. A lot of people like the do-it-yourself thing, or maybe they didn't get to their paperwork till 2 a.m. And we actually have a portal where our clients can go on and issue their own as well. So we do oh, it. We do it both ways. So yeah. Oh, and, and so you know, a certificate is really just 
a statement of what insurance you have, but it can mean the difference between you getting a job or not, you getting paid or not. So they're really important. Yeah, that sounds like yeah. I, if I was owning a business and yeah. yeah, getting paid is a big deal. So yeah, yeah let's uh, let's make sure we do that. Now, if you have insurance, Brian Insurance Agency, and you need one of these certificates, I'm sure you can call anytime. Yeah, sure. Uh, but if you don't have insurance, Brian Insurance Agency, and if you're out there and maybe uh, with our new listeners in our uh, big country, B104 area, that are uh, looking for uh, maybe an insurance quote or uh, looking to uh, you know, do something with their insurance, give you guys a call. Yeah, and you know, we always say don't wait until you have a claim to find out what coverage you have. Sometimes, unfortunately, people don't know what coverage they have until they have that certificate issued for a job that they're going to do, and then they find out that's not good enough. Wow. So we can, we'll sit down with you, review your contracts, go over everything with you to help you buy the insurance that you're required to have for to do that work. So yes, we'd love for it to help you out. Just give us a call, 940-549-2525. You can come see us, second floor, Sierra Bank Building in downtown Graham, or visit us online, www.brianbrianins.com. All right, thanks for coming by. And folks out there, if you, 